bitches around, G. It used to be fun, but now it's getting boring to me. Constantly fucking, 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 fucking. Ride my dick like a horse, bucking, bucking. Now I'm needing that enlightenment in my life. I'm missing that excitement. Thinking about how these two girls could excite me. Then it hit me. Both of them like me, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's the lick. Listen and learn while I kick some more serious shit. Understand, I came up with a dope ass master plan. Thinking while I sip on a 40, I got it. I'ma throw myself a private party. I called up one and said, What's up? What's going on? She said, Nothing much. I said, Hey, I got a very close friend who wants to meet you. She thinks you're pretty. And from what I told her, sleep too. She thought about it and said, Cool, it's on. Pick me up at eight, then I hung up the phone. I called up the other, dropped a little know-how, kicked it to a smooth, that other level style. Then I dropped the second step of my plan. Asked her, had she ever been with two men, or a woman and man? It's just a question, I'm not out to dish you. You said, yeah, baby, it's cool, but yo, I'm heterosexual. She was front man, trust me. Cause she's the type of hoe who like to taste her own pussy. When we're fucking, she takes a dick out, licks it all over. Then she puts it in her mouth. Now after doing that type of shit, she could be talking to other things real quick. I said I got another friend I wanna party with, and we can all get into the hot tub and have a little bit of fun. You know, baby. <laughs> Consider this a test, and if you pass, you'll be my number one. She said, Okay, it's a date. I gotta make a few runs, so pick me up at eight. <laughs> Better make it 8 30. Give me some time to wash up and take a bath because I'm kinda dirty. Before she hung up the phone, I said, Wait, if you wasn't special to me, I wouldn't invite you on a date. She said, Yeah, I know I love you. See you later. Things are getting good, but in the end, they'll be much greater. Pick them up and I make them feel comfortable Cracking jokes as if I was Cliff Huxtable Get into the crib, things are hype Fix them a couple of drinks to get their heads right But not too much cause I don't wanna make them woozy 30 minutes later, let's jump into the jacuzzi. One said, I didn't even bring a swimsuit. The other said, Don't worry about it, ain't nobody gonna bite you. Cause I don't have one either. The shit was getting dope, I had to take a breather. Step into the water and it's showtime. I'm a nigga, so I got to go for mine. But the key's to have patience. But with two of the finest girls in the world who wouldn't be anxious But I kept my cool grinning like the devil No one about to put these two bitches on that other level yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just your typical horny little devil I make them both suck on my chest like Mr. Slick Then I took one's head and pushed it down to the dick now I got one on the dick, one on the nipple Squeezing on the asses, the shit is so simple Then another smooth move real quick I push the other bitches head down to the dick Now they're sucking on my dick like a lollipop In and out of each other's mouth, but when they ever stop Ooh, sucking on my pole And while they sucking on my pole I'm running my fingers through their pussy holes then back up to the chest again, yes Everything is cool, cause I'm the best, my friend Now they're licking on my chest, my nipples rather Then I gently push both of their heads together Now they're kissing one another, ooh Fifty minutes later, they were eating each other I got these bitches so much into them till they forgot about me And I'm sitting here, but motherfucking nigga, G But at the time went by, yo you know a nigga like me had to get down for mine 
And I should've won a fucking medal For taking both of these bitches To the other level Bushwickville, the other level Part one Listen and learn and you'll be alright Ghetto Boys out of here 1991, year 2000 and forever